hi everyone welcome to my channel uh, today we are going to see how to make this uh, mandarin collar or you can call it as Nehru collar or a close neck collar and this collar I have edged with a, a pretty good lace and this this kameez I made for me before uh, before a year so I'm going to make a same pattern because I'm getting a request how to make a collar so this is a open type where I have attached the hooks to that so let's see how to make that collar first take the front side of your kameez this is a kameez for a child of six years old so the neckline what I'm going to take is six five inches five or six inches so first make a curve with 6 inches depending upon how close you want as I'm sewing for the child I don't want to be too close so that it might be irritating for her so I took 5, five to 6 inches so first cut this out and for the front opening the front opening is absolutely depend upon how length you want um, today I'm going to keep for the same 5.5 or 6 inches just give a mark and you're going to cut a straight cut at the center like making a slit if you want you can go till 8 or 9 but today I'm going to take, take till 5.5 inches and the back neck the back neck you're going to give a very slight curve so that the kami sits at your shoulder and your neck part so just give a slight curve and just take the small portion out and take a seam a square piece like this and place the square piece on top of the neckline and mark where the the slit ends and just give a marking and now you're going to cut a straight slit on the square piece till the marking okay and then we are going to start sewing from the one end and we are going to go to the another end it's like like a V neck just sew it like a V so make sure you place the piece of cloth on the pretty side of the fabric and start sewing just when you meet, get to that point just put your needle in take your foot up and turn the fabric and sew to the next side in a continuous manner no need to stop at the any point and just just get into the fabric and s just make a slit little bit and turn the piece in so that you should get a neat edged neck so now after putting it that square piece inside just put a basting stitch on top of that I'm sorry not a basting stitch a top stitch on top of that so that it doesn't move from the place okay and once it done it look like this see 
you should get a neat edge like this and now we are going to attach a small piece inside a flap to make the uh, loops on that so take a piece of fabric fold it into half and now I'm going to sew this leaving uh, at least a maximum of 2 inches at the top okay that's the opening you give for your normal opening that you give for your kameez and you're going to put a straight stitch same like that just sew it down and when you come to the point just leave the needle in take your lift your foot up and then turn your fabric and go at least a quarter inch so that the fabric would be firm inside after turning out just sew for a one or quarter inch that's it put a back stitch and now we are ready you can see the flap inside here we are going to sew the loop and now we are going to attach this lace on top of the neckline so when you come to the point just fold it in an angle you can see and do the same fold it in an angle and take it to the top okay so start sewing from the one corner of the lace ease your fabric you should not have any wrinkles or stretch in the fabric just ease the fabric and start sewing and once you get into the point just fold it like an angle okay give it just like a L shape and fold it again to the next side same like that sew to the bottom leave your needle in and take your foot up and then turn the fabric okay when you come to that point you, uh, you want to trap the um, that side of the lace to that so just fold the one side of the shoulder and then sew the next side of the shoulder together that's the sh neckline I mean. in that way you don't sew both the um, pieces together because it's going to overlap the piece what we attached and now we are going to sew the outside of the lace don't pull the lace
okay once after sewing the lace together just trim off the uh, neckline and then you're going to stitch the shoulders together and then we are going to cut the collar so this is the simplest way of making the collar I'm not going to teach any kind of tricky things or great measurements very very simple way of cutting the collar see first take the center and give a notch so if you follow the few steps what I tell it's the making the collar neck would be damn easy for you so after cutting these no, notching the center just measure the full length of the collar this is the first main part in making the collar measure the full length of the collar by using the tape don't stretch your fabric ease your fabric and measure so my is 15.5 so just take a main fabric and fold it once okay so when you're sewing for uh, adult or teenagers you can take two inches as I'm sewing for a kid I'm just taking um, 1.5 inches I want a big collar so fold the fabric into ones in a lengthwise and fold it into the breadthwise okay like this and make sure this is the folded corner of your uh, fabric so as our uh, as we folded the fabric into two half so we are going to half the 15.5 that is exactly comes around 17.7 i think so just give a 17.6 and just give a mark and give a quarter inch and we are going to cut this out first fold it in the lengthwise and double fold it in the breadthwise so as we fold the fabric into two so you're going to divide the full length of the neckline by two just half it out and then we are going to place the same pattern on top of our interfacing and cut the same no great measurements just the take only the neckline measurement that's it you you can make a pretty good collar neck with following the simple steps and now we are going to take a, a quarter inch out from the canvas because we are going to fold the fabric a little bit in the canvas so we are going to take quarter inch out of the canvas and now keeping the tape exactly leaving a quarter inch from the neckline I mean the collar just measure 15.5 that was the exact measurement what we need just mark a 15.5 okay and just give a marking and today we are going to make a sweetheart collar sweetheart collar is just give our straight straight line and just mark an angle and just curve it out so that when you could stitch on the curve that is called as a sweetheart collar start sewing from the open side of the collar the open side of the collar so start from the open side and go to the curve line and and put a straight stitch so now I'm going to do the straight stitch at the folded edge that's very important the open side is always open so I'm going to stitch on the folded side making the three pieces that is two folded edge and with the 
uh, interfacing together. Okay, after sewing the corners, just snip out the edges of this uh, collar and just notch it so that it turns nicely. See the same I'm doing to the next edge, just I'm going to trim out the excess and I'm going to give a notches so you'll get a neat curve. Now just turn it inside out like this. Okay, if you want to make a straight collar, just sew it like a L. If you want a sweeter collar, you're just going to sew with a curve. See, we are going to fold a quarter inch of fabric, trapping the both together, that is the interfacing, and with the fabric lying under the interfacing. Just fold, fold the fabric on top of the interfacing and just give a straight stretch so now the collar has a one side folded edge and one side you have a raw edge this is going to be a step 3 of making collar and now the next thing is marking the center of the collar fold the collar together and just give a notch at the center okay now I show you how to place it so the raw edge with the folded edge the raw edge of the collar should meet the raw edge of your neckline okay before sewing the neckline just put a stitch all around them all along the kameez neckline because it makes the fabric too flexible to work on with so with my experience I feel really comfortable when I sew on the neckline before attaching the collar to that Then you can place the collar raw edge meeting the raw edge of your kameez and start sewing by giving some back stitch. If you want you can just pin it together or you can just give a um, you can just tag it and then you can sew it in your machine. the fabric don't pull the fabric and don't pull the collar just placing the raw edge together just sew it to sew it in a straight stitch you can see I have opened my canvas together and then I'm going to sew the, um, the raw edge the canvas side is open you can see that Okay, now we are done with sewing the raw edge and uh, now fold the canvas on top of that by tucking in all the raw edge and start sewing.
so tuck in all the raw edge and then sew the collar And now we are done with the collar and we are tied the lace and see the collar should be neat you should not have any kind of thread hanging out uh, it should be by seeing the stitches itself you should say how the collar looks see we have a very neat stitching and here the the stitch what I told you to put before you can just take it out after sewing the collar and now we are going to attach a piece of lace edging the collar to make it too decorative so I'm I'm taking the same lace and I'm going to add this to our collar so I'm just taking out the glittery uh, poking lace at the center you don't need that and I'm going to just cut the uh, lace into half so it's all small trick I just want to share with you so if you have a same kind of lace you can just use it out and fold the fabric that's raw edge in and just put a top stitch see like this folding the raw edge and you're going to sew it Okay, I'm, as I'm sewing for the small child, it will be so poking so I'm just going to take that part out and I'm just going to add this uh, pretty nice lace to the collar and now just fold the raw edge and attach this lace at the bottom of the collar. So this lays all around the collar. This is optional. If you want, you can do this, or else you can skip this step. And now our kameez collar neck is ready. This is the mandarin collar, and I think you love this video. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below and please do share this video with your friend and don't forget to subscribe this video.